hello. So today I thought we would do like a blue makeup. The makeup that Kyle did on me on the first video that we did. Just because I thought it was a bit fun. I don't usually do like bright coloured makeup. Usually it's always natural and kind of neutral colours. So I thought we could do like blues. And just use Kyle's makeup as an inspiration. So I've got my wee headband. Just look at that. My skin has been so bad recently. I don't know what is going on. It's a pain in the arse. So I'm just so, I'm actually really badly breaking out. I think it might be the new cleanser that I'm using. I'm using the new, well it's not even new. It's um, the Lazero, the hot cloth cleanser, I think. It's really good, like my face feels so clean after using it, but it's like, I don't know, I think my skin is purging, is what they call it. I'm going to start with my face. I have no tan on whatsoever and none of my foundations match my natural skin colour. I know, really bad. But usually like through the week I'll wear like concealer and bronzer. I won't wear all a foundation because my skin just doesn't agree with it. I only really wear foundation when I'm get tan on or when I'm going out or you mix your foundation with your moisturiser. It makes it a bit more natural looking and dewy. And I'm going to be using it. I think I use this in my, in my get ready with me. The Kiko Full Coverage. Oh. No. Oh, no, man. I've lost it. Oh, it's going to be all. Oh, anyway. Oh, no, I dropped it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to mix that together. Has anyone seen that TikTok going about now? And it's like the girl who puts her makeup, her foundation on, and rubs it in. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. It makes me feel really uncomfortable. I think I'm going to actually try it. I know I just said it makes me feel comfortable, but it looks quite like... It's, this is really dark, but I'm only going to put it on a wee bit. I think I'm going to do like... Like different makeup trends. You see TikTok, so you see like the people rubbing it in. And then there's another one going about that's like a foundation mixed with the translucent powder. And I'm just that on. Makeup's actually... The, they're doing like after it, it looks like pure flawless. But yeah, is anybody else's skin really bad now? It's really bad. It's doing my nothing. It's like coming to the end of the week, so I don't have any tan left on at all. I'll tan on like a Friday night for like, the weekend. Not that we're going anywhere, but I just quite like to feel nice and bronze at the weekend. And I think also the reason my skin's so bad is because I've been wearing a lot of makeup like Saturdays and Sundays. Because again, like I'm going to want to. I don't really have time to wear it all during the week going to work. Like I never seem to have the time to do it in the mornings. So I like to spend a bit of time and do my makeup at the weekend when I've got a bit of tan on. Because none of my foundations match my pure pale skin. Because I am pale. I'm like blue. I'm that see through. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even joking. I need to put about three layers of tan on to actually have a bit of a colour as well. It's a pain. What is your favourite tan, guys? What, what is everybody using? I'm using the St. Moritz, but I also love the Bondi Sands. I tried the Aero one. I don't know if I, I don't know if I really liked it that much. Didn't have much of an indicator on, and I like to have like an indicator to it, so that I know what I'm putting it, so that I don't end up pure patchy the next day. Don't forget your ears, guys. I'm doing this at like 8 o'clock at night and not as if I'm going to be going anywhere for anybody to see my ears but I've got to blend it all in. Has anybody got any recommendations to our everyday foundation? Yes. This one's quite heavy. This is a full coverage foundation. It's a two in one concealer and foundation so it's really quite thick. So I love it when I'm going out and stuff but it's during the day, it's like, it, you can feel it on your skin. Although it is a lovely foundation, it is really nice, but it's a bit thick. Right, and then I'm gonna blend with the uh, Anti-Instant Age Razor. I'm just gonna go up and down. Please don't come at me about the way I do that my makeup. Everybody does the makeup different ways. Do what's comfortable for you. I like to do what's best for me. Do not come at me and say, you shouldn't be doing it that way. Because this is the way I like to do it. And I've never really done. Like, I love to do bright, think, bright, um, bright makeup looks at Halloween. Mm -hmm. 
gaudy ones and all sorts of colours at Halloween but during the year, like through the year, I, I don't really like that trend. Maybe I should, maybe that should be one of my New Year's resolutions. I'd like to try more colourful like makeup looks like because I literally like I stick to all I really wear is black. So I'm trying to put different colours into my wardrobe but I just feel so comfortable in black. Black is just my go-to. I remember in the school I used to get called an emo. I was not anywhere near an emo type at all. I didn't have emo type hair. I dyed my hair plum in first year. And I got called emo for so many people. <laughs> Why? I don't know. But apparently that was the emo look. Right, and I'm going to go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Now this is running out like I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here. But right now I've been using it on like my blemishes and stuff and I've been loving it. I usually would use this under my eyes but there's not enough in the in the tube. I'm, I'm scraping. Like I can't even show you my camera's not the best quality but there I'm actually like can you see? I'm scraping. I actually do really need to do my nails. I'm really bad. I usually always really have my makeup done my, my nails done but um recently I ran out of I've been doing my own acrylics. I've been doing them since before Christmas. I bought the Glitter Bells um, acrylic system. Oh no, I love it. See, the first time I did it, it was a bit, oof, it was a bit wonky. I had to do a lot of filing. A lot of filing. But I got there. And then I'd done a couple of sets and I was getting quite good at them on myself. Not so good on other people, but on myself. I quite liked them. But I ran out of the liquid. So I can't do them right now and then I try to do like tips with um oh, they're not body gel. I do tips with builder gel. And it's okay but it doesn't give the same same look. I'm still at wonky. So no. So now I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercy translucent powder. This is the does it have a colour? I don't think it has a colour because it's translucent. I really, really want to start vlogging. I was going to vlog many times like Valentine's Day kind of plans. But it's, it's so hard to vlog on a phone. I'm still looking at getting a camera. I want to do more of these as well, like sit down kind of chatting. I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes. Again, this is not like what you have to do. Like I'm, this isn't really a tutorial. This is just me showing you what I would do. If I was doing this sort of makeup look, you don't have to do what I'm doing. If you have your own way, by all means, better in. If I'm doing it a different way to you, then fine. If you don't have what I have, fine. Do what you've got. I just pat the powder in as well because I pat it in and enough kind of brush it away, but I just feel like pat it in. Pat it in kind of makes it matte, but I don't really like a dewy finish my foundation. I do and I don't. It depends on what look I'm going for but I just feel like a dewy look can make me look quite oily. I have oily skin to bear with but I think like it can make me look really quite oily here and my t-zone and kind of my chin and sometimes I get really oily like which is strange. I get oilier like here which is weird. I don't know if anybody else gets that. Right this is a Kat Von D palette. I'm going to use to contour and bronze. So I'm going to use, this is well loved by the way, I'm going to use this shade, this one is Shadow Play. I hate hitting the pan as well because you need to try and get round the bare bits. I used to be in love with Kat Von D growing up. I wanted to be Kat Von D, I wanted to work in her shop and I think it was LA. Oh, I loved her. I think she's the reason why I want to get so many tattoos. My if you've seen my last kind of get ready with me, I like to spray my plate, my face with the Fix Plus. So spray it with the Fix 
plus and then I go in with my highlight highlight brush and this is the MAC Soft and Gentle again very well loved I've hit the pan but I just can't bring myself to part with it and I just tap that on my cheekbones and then down my nose and then my bridge of my lips I think this is such a lovely highlighter it's just so subtle which is probably why it's called soft and gentle but it's just oh, I love it with my brow going yeah, I probably do my makeup totally the wrong way around to some other people but this is just the way I like to do it I used to do it on my eyes first I don't like doing it like that anymore and I just thought I'd do my face first and some people do their face and then do their eyes and then do their highlight and their bronze and all that but I just like to do it this way so again don't come for me then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wee bit of that magic eraser and put a wee bit on the back of my hand I need concealer brush I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to kind of use that as a base Just blend that on. Of any excess. Plus, it's quite hard doing your makeup on camera. Like, like I feel like I'm on, not on edge, but just like I forgot so many things. Let's like, see my get wet get ready with me when I did that a couple of weeks ago. I forgot so many things. Like I don't even know if I did blush. Did I do blush? I actually can't even remember. But I just forgot so many things Like for my makeup And then I'm just going to set it with the translucent powder So just take a wee, just a wee flat brush Just set that Now some people don't like to set Because they like the colour to stick Especially if they're doing bright colours But sometimes I feel like if you don't set This is just me again If I don't set the colour like it sticks but it's harder to blend but that's just that's just my opinion that's just what I don't like so I'm going to go straight in I'm using the Julia Masquerade Mini by Juvius's palette I'm going to use this one and it is the colour Zola Zola, this one I'm just going to go right into the crease going to be my transition shade and I don't like this brush. I use a kind of fluffier one just to pick up a bit more because I feel like that brush is a wee bit more controlled so I'm just going to use this one. I'm just going to blend it back and forward. And so I'm just using that in my crease and then kind of bringing it down into the corner. Trust the process guys. To be fair I don't actually know where I'm going with this either but you know, I've got to be a wee bit creative. I'm just using some paler motions and just going around. I've never used this shade before, by the way. I actually think Kale used it. This is the shade that he used. But I've never used it in an actual proper makeup look. I'm going to try and flick it out a wee bit. And if you get any fallout, usually just wipe it away because you're baked, it should just sit on the top. I'm going to go in with a smaller kind of denser brush and pick up this blue and pick that up. And I'm just going to pat that in. Just going to go into that over. again and just blend the two together I 
feel like this would be a good makeup to wear at Halloween, like if you were going as like a mermaid or something, but maybe not. I don't know, I just like I'm kind of feeling it already. Any makeup look, looks weird without lashes, like without any mascara or anything on, it just looks a bit strange. And I'm going to go in with a smaller baby brush, a sweet brush, teeny tiny. I'm going to use that lighter blue and go along my lash line. Gonna blend that together. I'm just gonna take this darker blue like in the middle. I'm not gonna take it all the way along again. I think I'm gonna spray it. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop that like right in the middle and blend that out. I look a bit mad than I right? quite liking that. I've not got any brows on either, and without brows, I am bald. I am like a bald man. This is never going to come out my brushes, is it? That is a white brush. Should have thought this through. I'm going to use the e.l.f. liquid liner in jet black. This is my favourite part. I love a wing. Oh, I'm just going to go. The best way to add it, I learned it from Jamie Genevieve, is if you Open your eyes and look down into your mirror. And just go along. You know what? I can't talk when I'm doing liner. Like I'm silent. See if me and Kyle got made to see I can't even I can't even try. Me and Kyle get made to go out. And just talk to me. Like I can't I can't. And if something does if somebody does try and talk to me while I'm doing my liner, it annoys me. It actually annoys me. <laughs> I will actually, I could go mad because it just takes that one wee nick just to get it wrong. I actually feel like I hold my breath as well. I'm like, Cause I'm just like I, I hate them being uneven. This is honestly, I think Elf is quite affordable. I never really thought about using Elf before, like the makeup brand, but this is the best liquid liner I've found. All the other ones, I feel like they transfer or they go, they, they, they bleed a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm very surprised that my phone has lasted this long. Like usually my phone has already stopped recording by now and I would have had a wee hissy fit trying to delete loads of shit and then get back on a video but I'm like, oh well right now, oh well 31 minutes in apparently which won't be that when I edit it but I'm going to put some lashes on right now please don't ask me what these lashes are because I don't know they're actually there's about three different lashes in here I think these are actually the Ardell Wispies ones but I used can use them again and again, really. I'm gonna put a bit of mascara on while they're getting a wee bit tacky. I'm gonna use the Sharp Towel Date Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. This one. And I'll do my bottom lashes after I've shoved these. Oh my god, eyes are watering. Are they on? Are they on? Eyes are watering. My eyes are watering. That's it. Right, so a wee bit of mascara on my bottom lashes now. Else makes pure weird faces and I did the makeup. 
loving that actually. I'm actually really liking this. Right, and then brows. So I'm taking the Morphe or Morph, however you say it, Mocha Brow Cream. Oh, this one is with a neat angled brush. I'm just gonna go with some upward brush strokes. I'm just gonna make sure that underneath is kind of defined though. It's actual tragic that I usually never need to get my brows done. But now that I can't get them done, I'm going a monobrow. How much the brows actually change the shape of your face, don't they? And then lips. So I'm going to use Max Sore Lip Liner. used over our nude, that's okay. I'm gonna set my face on my fix this. So that is the finished look guys. Hope you enjoyed it actually I'm really like it. I quite like the blue. I don't think it's just for Halloween to be honest. Don't think I would wear as dark a lip as this if I was doing it properly to be honest. Thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you liked kind of style of video. Let me know if you want some more kind of tutorials or come to more kind of makeup videos like this. I'd love to do more to be honest. I actually quite enjoyed doing this one. I'll see you in the next one.